All right, hello everyone. This is my um, video presentation about my experience um, shadowing a literacy coach on Zoom. So because of the fact that the school that I was working with doesn't accept um, visitors right now, I had to observe through Zoom all of the lessons that I was able to um, watch. So my coach's name was Sarah Cartmill. She works at Allegheny Limestone Elementary School. She um, graduated from St. Bonaventure with a journalism and Spanish double major. And she went on to get her master's in literacy from Syracuse University. Um, she told me that she taught Spanish for um, many years until she decided to take a job as a literacy specialist. When I asked her about what she would have preferred to do, um, she had told me that she always wanted to be a literacy specialist. So when the job opportunity arose and she was able to uh, make the move to back to Allegheny, she was excited to take that job. So she initially um, came to Allegheny Limestone as a literacy coach in 2018 and started working out with um, older students, but then ended up switching recently into the elementary school. Her initial goal when she was brought on as a literacy coach was to help with the RTI system in the middle school. So she helped to create reading programs in sixth and seventh grade. But after um, conducting like testing and looking at the data, they realized that younger students in the schools, so the elementary school needed more reading attention. So now she works full time in the elementary building and mainly working with small groups or one-on-ones. I did ask about um, what work she does with the other teachers in the building. And she said that now, especially with COVID, it's more of a when other teachers need her kind of thing, she's there to work with the students. She's there to do these one-on-one -on -one small groups um, and hit the um, phonics and phonemic awareness in these younger students so that they're ready to read later on. And I asked what she prefers, and she said that she's really enjoying working with the students in these small groups and working on these um, early reading strategies. She also helps to coordinate testing in the building, and she said that she sends resources to teachers and creates professional development for grade level meetings, which made me think of our coaching book and those articles that we read about coaching online and how, how important it is for the coach to stay up on current research and to be providing um, information and resources to the teachers that they're working with and that just made me think of that connection and I thought that was really interesting that she's actually doing something that we read about. So day to day um, in her schooling world she works at Allegheny Limestone as I said and with COVID-19 this Allegheny Limestone decided to still stay in person five days a week so she's still seeing all the kids every day but it's shorter class days. So her sessions with students, instead of being like 45 minutes are down to 30 minutes. Um, in our last conversation, she mentioned that sometimes it honestly is nice to have the shorter periods because with these younger students, kindergarten and first grade, it's harder for them to pay attention for so long. So hitting a skill for 15 minutes is just enough time for the lesson to go smoothly. So she usually meets with small groups of two to three students or one-on-one, -on -one, and this follows a regular schedule, which I have on the next slide. So this year, she really started notice that, noticing that students are struggling with the basics. So she's paying a lot of attention on phonemic awareness and really working with the language and focusing on tricky words and sight words, and then noticing what students in each section really need. It's been key to their success. So she said that recently they've decided to make a switch from just grouping the students by age and like level and really grouping by what these students need individually so putting together a group of students that need work with blending putting together a group of students that need work with letter names so they can really hit those skills and get these students up to where they need to be and get them on the right track with their reading and with their phonics and phonemic awareness so every single day she meets with students from 9.30 to 10 as a small first grade small group. And then from 10.15 to 10.45, she meets with a kindergarten student and works one-on-one -on -one with them. And then from 11.45 until 12.15, she works with a small group kindergarten. 
And then you can see that on Mondays, she has a seventh grader one-on-one. -on -one, um, and on Tuesday, Thursday, she meets with kindergarten group. And I was able to see all of these um, different groups because I went on Mondays and Thursdays on the Zooms. So overall, I had a really great experience working with um, Sarah Cartmel. I really appreciated her time and her answers to my questions were always well above what I was expecting and more in detail than I could have thought. I really enjoyed seeing her use all of these strategies that we've been reading about. It really puts a picture into my brain about how to use these strategies in the classroom. I think that was really important for me to see. And I really liked listening to how she interacts with the students and the words that she's choosing to use. It was just really helpful overall to get a feel of the flow of these small group and one-on-one -on -one interventions and the way that they should be running. Because you can read a schedule all day long, but actually seeing it in person and doing it are different things. So being able to see it just gave me that next step. So I'm prepared when I have to conduct small group instruction in my classroom. Another thing that I really enjoyed was just getting to talk to her and hearing her story. I really liked listening to how she realized that literacy was the path for her and that being a literacy coach is now where she wants to be. So overall, it was a really great experience and I um, am excited to work with her in the other class with our other project.